This is 3.1 number 6. We're trying to evaluate the integral from 3 to 7 of 4x minus 16. Interpret it in terms of areas. So it helps to get a picture of this. And really, we just need the endpoints um, to get an idea. So if we plug in 3, we're going to get 4 times 3 minus 16, which is negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, um, negative 4 is our left hand endpoint. And then f of 7, 4 times 7 minus 16 is equal to <clears throat> 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's way, let's see, and then 4, 5, 6, 7. So our second point I'm going to put in blue is uh, right about here. And then um, we see that it crosses the x-axis, so it might be useful to know where that's happening. So if you just take 4x minus 16, set it equal to 0, we get that 4x equals 16, so when x is 4, y is 0. So it's crossing this point too. So if we put it all together, we're looking at the area underneath the curve. So in pink, I'm going to draw two triangles. One is below the x-axis, so that one is going to be negative, and the other one is positive. Um, yeah, we can squish that up. All right, so the area of the smaller triangle, um, so area is half of the base. Well, the width of the, that one is 1. The base is 1. This is from 3 to 4. And the height... It goes from 0 to negative 4, so the height would be 4. So we'd get negative 2 because we know that that area, even though negative area doesn't really make sense, um, when we're doing integration, if it's below the x-axis, then it's negative. The other side, the width of the, or the base of the rectangle is 3, so we have half of 3, and then we know that the height is 12 because we already figured that out. So this one has an area of um, 18. So if we do 18 plus negative 2, we get 16 for the total area.